Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Held Dominance. Anthony here. Please remember to like and subscribe and also click that notification bell if you're enjoying what you've seen and if you want to see more. Coming up, Super League's French clubs looking for TV deal. Storm prop. Stood down due to allegations. And Toulouse veteran looking for big things at Toulouse. So we'll begin with a few words about uh, Harrison Hansen's thoughts on Toulouse Olympic's chances in the Super League, as he set beliefs that Toulouse will bring an extra dimension to the competition in 2022. The veteran forward has won every honour in the game with Wigan before Spelzer, Salford, Lee and Witness scoring a crucial try in the French club's promotion decider against Feverston. Sylvain Hulez's team has thrilled supporters at the championship level for several years with an exciting brand of attacking rugby league got from all over the field. Hansen says it, that will remain despite the step up in class, although he admits that they will have to pick their moments when facing the big guns in the competition. Hansen said, Sylvain lets us play, basically. If you look at our style of rugby, we have it's well the style of rugby we have, it's good to watch. And the tries that we're capable of scoring are awesome at times. Coming into Super League now, we had no we've got to get the right balance, especially when you come up against the harder teams. Even though we know that we can throw the ball around and attack from anywhere, there will be times when we've got to rein it in and be disciplined. We've got a lot of players with Super League experience in the squad, which is great, and I'm confident we've got the team to stay up. We pretty much had a Super League ready team this year, and I think it's a team that is ready to do something special and play attractive rugby. To lose welcome yesterday's Super League fixture announcement more than most, they spent m almost the entire of 2020 campaign on the road due to COVID and didn't return to the, the, their new stad Ernest Wallon base until the playoffs. They kick off their top flight campaign at home to Huddersfield on February the 12th and eyes are already glancing towards Easter in mid-April when Super League's first ever French derby will take place at, um, against Catalans. Hansen added, that's huge for the game in France. The French atmospheres are great anyway, and it should be a full house against Catalans, which will be spectacular. They've signed Mitchell Pearce and Dylan Napper, so those games should be tasty. But we've stepped ev everything up in the pre-season. It's been a lot more intense than focused, especially on fitness. We've got the flair in attack and we know we can defend, but we can only do that in the Super League if we're a really fit team. So the veteran has sent out the Toulouse letter of intent for 2022. They're going to attack when as freely as they usually do, but they have a one eye on being very solid in defence. Ah. It's going to be fun, but we'll have to look into what Harrison does and how many games he plays as well. Um, just a little bit of information with Harrison Hansen. Um, he's the son of uh, Salford and Swinton uh, Rugby League players, Shane Hansen, and played for Folly Lane as a junior, and went to the same Moorside High School as Manchester United's Ryan Giggs. He's of Samoan, Chinese and Scottish descent. He stepped up from the Wigan Academy uh, in 2004, playing 243 games and scoring 43 tries uh, until his move to Salford in 2014, where he went on to play 52 times, scoring 9 tries. A spell at least centuries follow that, between 2016 and 2018 with 84 tries, and, uh, sorry, 84 games and 22 tries. With him uh, moving on in 2018 to Witness Vikings. The 36 year old played 33 games and scored three tries, and then went on to Toulouse Olympic, where we've got him at 17 
games and four tries. He's also played representatively, as he played one game for New Zealand and six games for Samoa. During his period in two, with Samoa, he scored two tries. Let's hope he uh, gets another crack at Super League, whether this is one of his final years in Rugby League or not. And continuing with the French theme, Toulouse Olympic are hoping their promotion to the top flight will be a catalyst for a deal to put Rugby League back on the television screens in France. The Olympians are working alongside Catalan Dragons and the French RL Federation on a strategy that would appeal to French broadcasters in a bid to have regular live coverage um, of games from the Stade Ernest Wellard and the Stade Gilbert Brutes. Toulouse Olympic CEO um, Cedric Garcia told the Rugby League Express that he Television coverage in France is so important. There are two levels of sport, with or without TV, and there is a massive difference between them both. It was always a part of our plan that we could get into Super League. We might add more weight to Catalan's appeal to French broadcasters as well. We've worked, we're working with Catalans and the French Federation to have a common TV strategy uh, in France and we are holding a meeting to see the best way forward with approval of Super League of course. It's an absolute priority for the professional game and we're trying to put it together the best strategy and scenario in, play, in which we can make that happen he added. We are still waiting official confirmation, but if the Rugby League World Cup is to be held in France in 2025, it is also so important that we have established relationship with TV companies. We have a massive opportunity here in French Rugby League, and it's crucial that we seize it. Garcia has said that it's absolutely crucial that Rugby League in, French, in France receives the oxygen of live coverage to raise the game's profile and make it more attractive to sponsors and supporters. With that said, Toulouse's first Super League fixture is being televised with Sky Sports showing the, the visit of Hull, uh, sorry, Huddersfield Giants on uh, Saturday the 12th of February. Garcia said, the good news is that on the first weekend of the season, Catalans are away, so we're hoping to draw a huge French crowd in front of this ITV cameras, and hopefully French TV too. So while the clock is ticking, Toulouse is still hopeful to get a TV deal in place for the 2022 season, and it begins. What more could you ask? For Super League, Rugby League, French Rugby League, and the World Cup in the future. He is right in everything that he said. The French TV deal is needed. It's essential. It reduces costs for Sky Sports, so which makes Rugby League more attractive to them. And all, uh, because they can partner up with a French company, hopefully, like they've done with Channel 4, to produce the games. It's what we need in the sport to make it progress. And... Like they said, 2025 World Cup aims. Need a TV deal. They need TV companies in France to help broadcast it. Without it, the life blood of that World Cup would be nothing. So, um, they have been doing odd games with a couple of TV companies over in France recently. But a permanent one again, like they did with Catalans, but now with Toulouse included, should be more appealing. With rugby league fans over in France, the TV companies, and with rugby league fans over here. So what's in a major decision by, and a major upheaval by Melbourne Storm, uh, they have taken the step that Tui Kami Kamicha 
has been stood down after being charged with assault by Queensland police over an alleged incident involving a woman outside the Brisbane Hotel. He has been issued with a notice to appear in Brisbane Magistrates Court on January the 10th. The Storm said it found out about the matter on Thursday afternoon and referred it to the NRL Integrity Unit. Queensland Police say a 27-year-old man, a uh, Sonny Banks Hills man, had been charged with an assault occasioning bodily harm uh, following an incident with a 30-year-old woman outside an Ann Street business in Fortitude Valley on November the 13th. The police said the woman was not known to the man and on Thursday it issued the man with a notice to appear at Brisbane Magistrates Court. The Storm said via a statement that they, that due to the seriousness of the allegations it had stood down the forward. The club intends to meet with Kami Kamachi in person next week. This is from their website. Melbourne Storm has until today stood down to e Kami Kamachi. Kami Kamacha after he was charged with the Queensland Police over an alleged incident involving a woman outside a Brisbane hotel. Storm were made aware of these charges on Thursday afternoon and advised the NRL Integrity Unit. Due to the seriousness of the allegations, the club have decided uh, made the decision to stand down Kami Kamacha pending his plea in response to the allegations the NRL Integrity Unit investigation and the club conclude a formal in-person interview with Kami Kamachi Kami Kamacha, I'm sorry for guessing that pronunciation wrong who remains outside of the state this will take place next week Storm believes firmly there is no place in the game or society for violence against women at any time, in any circumstance. The club will not make a firm comment until it's been advised of Kami Kamacha's uh, plea and conducts further inquiries. Well, it's not been a very good off season since uh, the Storm lost against the Penrith Panthers. Don't get me wrong, they have had their troubles too uh, at, the, uh, at Penrith. But the allegations of drug use in a player's hotel room before the Daily M Awards. Um, two players caught on video doing that. Now this. Craig Bellamy must be tearing his hair out as he's got plans to go one step further this time to win that NRL Grand Final again. Last 20 years, the Storm have been the most successful rugby league team. Uh, with Souths, obviously, but these things are a hindrance. The outcome of the uh, of the briefing of of the discussions with the integrity unit and their formal interview will yield some maybe not so home truths that need to be put out for the rest of the squad and. Code of conduct may be implemented with more serious situ more serious outcomes for the for anyone who steps out of line. I know they have the NRL integrity unit, but I think they need to do more, whether it is at the NRL level or at club level, to make sure that incidents like this do not come to a fore again. It's getting a bit too commonplace in NRL. You don't hear much in rugby league, but when you do, it's the police that get involved in Super League, should I say. But they're just wild people in the NRL, which is good for the game on the pitch, but not for themselves away from the game. They do have lives after rugby league that they need need to sort out. Melbourne Storm need to stub stub this out quickly.
So that's it for another video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video worldwide. And also to get all your friends in to get the word out in Rugby League. Uh, we need to grow this game as quickly and as largely as possible. Who knows? If you're not from the recognised countries in Rugby League, then maybe a World Cup coming your way in 2029. We'll see. Um, tell me what your thoughts are on these three stories. As uh, uh, Do you agree with me that there is an issue with the Melbourne Storm with players going a bit wild? Or in the NRL as general? It's not a good look for the game if players keep doing that. And they're not bothered about losing money because they're getting paid massive amounts. What can you do? They all keep being stood down, but I reckon their contracts are still being paid at an X amount of level. Plus, they're rugby league players. They could, they're probably thinking, oh, I can get a job elsewhere. Oh. Now, to lose a Catalan, will they get a TV deal during, before, or after the 2022 season? I do hope that they uh, do get one. It'll be a massive boost for French Rugby League. It may even look at Elite 1 and Elite 2, which also helps bring crowds down. You got a Rugby League team in your area? Yes, you have. Look on TV. They're showing it. And you come down and watch as well. Knock-on effects. Not just standard knock-ons. Knock-on effects. Brings in money. Brings in eyes. Brings in viewers. Always positive. And I do you agree with Harrison Hansen that to lose are ready and will do enough to stay up? I kind of think they do. I think they'll finish third from bottom though. Um, with progression coming as the players get better, uh, bigger and stronger. That's my opinion, but you tell me. You believe that to lose have all the tools that they, that they need to to go forward. Oh, so... Anything that you tell anything that you tell me, I will respond back as soon as possible. But leave them in the comments below. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to share this video worldwide. And also, all the best. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.